Okay, this is third time I'm trying to <laughs> take the Wii. I think I need to move my mouse on onto the course button, not on the actual st uh, stuff for your recording. Okay, anyway, okay, so quick update again. So I didn't uh, video any anything last uh, weekend, but we had that sort of situation in our family that I was unable to. Everything is fine now, but it was like, there was a lot of things to do. So um, I thought that I do something, I did, I have been doing reporting quite a lot this weekend, uh, oh, and, the, and I mean this week, and then I was thinking like, maybe I should just show you something. And because I haven't done anything about, um, which is related to orchids, I thought I, I'll report this old Oncidium type in um, this, oh, just a second. So that one and this one was, uh, it had already those when I bought it. And then came this one, which is down here. I guess you can see it, yeah, it's, it's showing. And this is the second one. Uh, this one actually flowered, as you can see. And this is the second one which it made. That's really small bulb, as you can see. And the leaf is doing something really strange. I don't know why. It's like glued on that. So there's the upper part of the bulb. It's some a bit smaller than the other one. So I thought that, okay, it, it still has room in this pot, but I, I don't, I'm not so sure about the media it's in and anyway it started this second uh, growth here and this one is that sort of uh on which it, which likes to grow every now and then new root tips or new roots and it's really good at um uh, spreading around and growing new tips so it's it's yeah i was thinking like i could just start reporting this now and get it to better media this is i think two years already in here and i just want to take a look what's going on in this in this one oh and the reason why it's crinkly uh this is from last winter when i wasn't in finland and this was with my friend and i told her to let them dry quite well before uh, watering, so better to have these sort of crinkly leaves than drowning orchid. So, and she was doing a good job because she, uh, this one was actually blooming. Oh, crack. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm able to actually get it out. Well, at least it has a root system, I guess. <laughs> Just, I'm so used to trying to get out. Orchids which aren't this well attached to. What did I do there? Hopefully, I didn't. Um, mm, yeah, I don't think it has liked this that much since it does have roots on, on the bottom but i i do remember that it's um friends which came in the same uh, pot i actually sold them in our uh flea market we were selling orchids to each other in our orchid society meeting so i wasn't it's really well attached. I, I watered this yesterday because of this. Look, it's still got like like new roots there. New root tips. It's not actively actually growing the root tips at this point. But I know this plant, it's really loves to grow. Yeah. Okay, now I, th I think I need to actually, uh, well, this is not look looking that bad. It's just really clumped up here. So 
So yeah, I need to uh, reconsider what sort of uh, media composition I'm going to use. This is not that bad, it's really hard, this bark. So um, it, it smells a bit mushroomy, so might be that too. So it, it was going off just now, it's not yet like uh, breaking off, but it's, it's uh, getting acidic. So I'll just pause this for a while and then I'm going to continue with this one because honestly I'm not that good at talking while I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, I'm back. So this is a bit odd plant. As you can see, well, it's it likes to chuck... Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, now you might see something. So it likes to push out uh, new roots, even from old root systems. So this really likes to make roots. So I might actually just cut off those, which are really like you can actually... Well, there isn't that much. Hmm. So it's... It seems to be perfectly okay. This was an old one, as you can see, it's really papery thing. Um, I did got the sphagnum block off when I reported this first or the second time, don't remember. But yeah, um, as you can see, this one has been pushing out some new roots there and um, this one hasn't started yet but i do know that um they usually chuck out their first batch uh when it's something like i guess like du double this size i would say i mean this bulk part so it's well it's not that far away off to actually be pushing uh, its own roots so basically now was the good time to actually Repot it and I'm going to check all these old roots and see if I can get off some Which are not that good anymore And try to be careful with those ones which are okay, but yeah Not bad Big tannin Colored these weren't that good because you can see it's like it's velamen came off Yeah it doesn't seem to have any pests or anything like that, so... Funny, it's getting rid of this old leaf, even though it has this, this leaf here. Don't know, maybe it just likes to get rid of this, like, side leaves first. Might actually have, like, um, new bulbs coming up out there. It's, um, this is really vigorous plant so it's it does like to grow and um, i can tell that it's it's got good um it has the ability to actually grow much faster oh faster oh gosh <laughs> it's really difficult i, I have like uh, these two uh, two different ways of saying something and then it depends on which one i'm using anyway uh because it's this isn't ready yet and it's already starting this one and if I'm not mistaken, there might be some some others, uh, like eyes swelling there. Uh, this one is actually one of those uh, which doesn't like uh, these sheets to be pulled off until the new growth is really big one, unless it has started like this. Because I, uh, I had one and I pulled off the sheath and it actually, the eye dried off, so it's, for some odd reason this just is different, <laughs> don't know, just likes to do different. Anyway, I'll clean this off, uh, make a new media here, um, since I don't seem to have any sort of pests here, I don't have to disinfect it or anything, I just Bring that fresh media and we'll get back. Okay, let's get you focused. There. So, I'm going to use this old pot. I like to reuse everything I can. 
no need to buy new ones and this one seems to want to come off but not that nicely i have to take a look at um try to i i cleared it off as good as i, I could it could have a bit better root system but yeah and let's start putting the media in there okay so i just um i just put this on close to the uh air con or cone which it this is cold and let's see <laughs> able to actually get it fit because it does have room here if, if you can take a look it does have room to actually grow more pseudobulbs i have noticed that where i live it's it's easier to actually have smaller pot it might be somewhere else some others might actually like to have something else but for me it's better to actually have it like that and i know i have quite a lot of sphagnum now here but the thing is this likes to drink a lot and i'm not sure if i'm actually getting it inside there so i have to lift it up a bit I should have put it in underneath there first, so because I don't want to crush these new root systems, which it does have. Am I able to swing it a bit? Yeah. So this does drink a lot of. Uh, Water, as you can see from the wrinkling, it uh, the flower is that so uh, that uh, looks that way that it might have quite a lot of um, what do you call it odontoclossums or that genre of oncidium types in uh, in uh, its parentage, so somewhere. So um. So, although this might mean that I need to report it quite soon again, but then again, it's like hmm. there I want to have more of the bark and not the moss. Don't want it to actually get any ideas to get some bulk setting in. Okay. Well, they should have some sort of a color, most of the roots. Well, that I cannot help it has decided to jump up or just grow upwards so that's what it likes to do okay yeah I should have quite enough media there. So um, I can see uh, the roots a bit from here, but but you cannot. Yeah, just a second. So there, as you can see, it's it's. Uh, I'm not pushing them right against the suitable. So it's um, anyway the the. Water is going to just arrange it so that they are going to be fitting quite well. 
I don't have that much underneath there, which you cannot see. So basically, it's it's a bit lower. It's like um, up, up here in my knuckle. So it's not actually... Um, so the um, level of the media is not actually up against the suitable. It's basically it's uh, bit by bit um, climbing upwards. That's something which apparently this likes to do. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, it's a bit wobbly, but that's just. Mm, not that bad, so I'm able to actually get it to grow. Um, this was pre-moist because of the um, sphagnum moss. Um, so yeah, so I have uh, quite a lot of perlite sphagnum moss, and then this size bark I like to use. Well, you can't see it because of that now, I think. So basically, that's what I use in my mix. Um, because this is uh, this had in, enough fruit, not like perfect, but yeah, anyway. I did uh, put it back into this uh, pot. And I'm sure that when summer comes, it's going to be drinking a lot. Now it can just stay in here. And because it has the bark and quite a lot of um, perlite, so you can see I, I have it, there is quite a lot of it. It should keep like really fluffy and um, aerated, especially because I have these punctures to ventilate a bit more. Although this, these are not that big, so I don't even know if it's going to do any uh, difference. But yeah, so that's my on city of type into generic, I guess that's the word. Um, it's going to be growing new, new roots soon. So repotting something which I'm not going to have some sort of like disaster or any, anything like that. So I was happy to actually do the report with this one. At least I feel like, okay, I'm doing something right. So let's see. I'm hoping this might actually become bigger than this bowl, but I'm not so sure but since it's not ready with this new one and it already started this small thing here so i guess it's having now like more energy to actually push out more growth so that's why i have like a little bit of room both side to actually if, if it wants to it, it has the permission to do more and I'm sure I forgot my intro, but this was the third time I actually uh, started recording. So anyway, uh, this was M from Tropical Plant Finland. And I'll see you next time. I'll probably going to have some something. I might show you my Orchidarium project next. But until the next week, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Bye.